Hello and welcome to the first video of our Steps of Faith online teaching. Whether you are joining us here during the actual premiere or you're watching it at a later date, thank you for taking time out of your week to spend with us. Here's what you can expect. Pastor Lenny will join us and share for approximately 50 minutes each week uh, on different things that he's learned on how we can share our faith in the world that we live in. So without further ado, here's Pastor Lenny. Today we begin our three-week Steps of Faith evangelism course. And I want to especially invite all you Vikings fans. We are one of only two teams that can brag on four runner-up trophies. Not even you Green Bay fans can brag on that. So welcome today. Uh, we are going to be talking about having a plan to share your faith. This uh, course is meant to help you be better prepared and more courageous in sharing the good news. These are tools to add to your evangelism work belt. And I believe this is a vital task of believers. After all, sharing our faith is one of the most important things that we are called to do by God. So, Colossians 4, 5 says, Live wisely among those who are not believers and make the most of every opportunity. The Apostle Paul was fluent in the Old Testament and initially took his new found faith to the synagogues and argued from the Old Testament that Jesus was, in fact, the Christ. And how he told his fellow Israelites is important to us. Why? Well, it was one way that Paul found effective to share his faith. But later, he took the gospel news to Gentiles, too. And often, he would tell his story, which we'll explore in our next session. Paul had a plan. But he wasn't alone in this, for the New Testament reveals a number of people, Christians, sharing their faith, and they went about it differently depending on their ability and who their audience was. And I've learned over the years that I need to be myself when I'm sharing my faith. But I also need to listen to God's Spirit very closely. His whisperings direct me in what to say and how to say it. When I was younger... I sometimes let fear drown out God's small whisperings, and I needed boldness. Boldness comes from courage and courage from knowing God. Our vision statement is know God, become like Jesus, and change the world. One way you can journey in your own life with uh, your vision is to adopt this vision of the church and begin to learn God's Word. I know that can be overwhelming, but you start small and cons consistently stick with it. Knowing God's Word requires work. And it requires a time commitment. As a young teen, I began to memorize scripture. And it, it helped me. It, it gave me a tool for sharing my faith. So I want to present to you a plan that I learned early on for sharing my faith. Everyone needs a plan. As you can see, I brought this sheet today to explain how important a plan is. It's vital. So let's talk about a plan. Well, let me start by telling you a personal story. This is true. 
I went out uh, for the football team in grade seven. And initially, I played grade seven, eight, and nine, started grade nine on the offensive line. I was the left guard. And then I, uh, I had, had a real desire to play in high school. I went out grade 10, but between grade seven and grade 12, I grew very little, very little indeed. In fact, when I graduated from high school, I was four foot 11 and weighed uh, at the most 127 pounds. I thought about going out for the basketball team when I was too small for football, but if I was too small for football, uh, I was just too small for basketball too. But there was a sport that was tailor made for me and it was wrestling. And in fact, I had an advantage by not growing because I could make the, uh, the early weight classes 99, 105, 112. In fact, I wrestled 112 uh, pound weight class in grade 11. And most of those who were wrestling 112 pounds were like grade nine at the most. But that wasn't the only advantage I took it, uh, took. I had to work hard. I, I practiced hard. I, every day we went over and over and over again our moves. Uh, to be honest with you, I hated wrestling practice. Uh, but practice makes perfect. And I can say that at the, uh, the last three years of my wrestling career in high school, I went undefeated, which uh, I was pretty proud of. A plan is important. So as a teenager, I found the plan for sharing my faith. And I'd like to go through that plan. It's a plan that uh, is available online. Uh, and I would encourage you to memorize these verses. First of all, and by the way, all these verses are found in the book of Romans. And they are uh, called the Romans Road. And there are uh, other verses you can plan in here, but uh, these are the verses that I use. First, I share Romans 3.23. For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. When I share that with people, my uh, desire is to gain common ground. For them to understand that while... Uh, some of them will know that I'm a pastor, that, that I can relate to where they're at because I was there too. I uh, was lost. I, I needed a savior. And, uh, and so everyone has sinned. Romans 5.8 gives us a great uh, enthusiastic verse it says but God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners so God loves us yes we all need salvation we're all in the same boat we've all sinned but God showed us his love his great love Thirdly, salvation is a gift, Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I, I often share with people, uh, if you work a job, you get paid a wage. You get paid because you worked at it. Unfortunately, when we sin, we also earn a wage. But God gives us a free gift. He's made a free gift available to us to pay the penalty for our sin. Thirdly, or sorry, fourth, we are saved by grace. Romans eleven six, 6. And since it is through God's kindness then it is not by their good works, for in that case, God's grace 
would not be what it really is, free and undeserved. We don't become Christians because we earn it by working hard at it. We don't earn God's salvation through good works. The only way that we earn salvation, in fact, we can't earn salvation, it's through God's grace, free from God and undeserved by us. Romans 4, 5 says, but people are counted as righteous, not because of their work, but because of their faith in God who forgives sinners. Salvation comes through faith. You believe in a God who loved you so much that he sent his one and only son to pay the penalty for our sin. And what, how did God pay? He sent his son to earth to die for us. And finally, God saves all who call on him. Romans 10, 9. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So I ask you today, have you done that? You can do it by simply inviting God into your life to rule and reign in your life, to forgive you of your sins. And you believe in that Jesus not only died, but that he rose again. And that resurrection is so important for us because it's the promise of new life for us. We need a plan, and the Romans Road has helped me in sharing my faith. Let the Spirit lead you to the right plan, and then share it. I want to close with a story uh, that happened in the fall of 1981 in the mountains of New Hampshire. I was a, a young uh, pastor-to-be, and I was working in a very small church. And one day, my future wife came home. She worked at the, the local hospital. And she asked me uh, if I would go and visit a guy, uh, the son of one of her coworkers. And this son was, uh, his life was messed up. Now, I have to admit to you, I, I didn't know this guy and I was hesitant to go and visit with him. Uh, I uh, finally uh, drummed up the courage and drove to his place and knocked on the door and waited and he didn't respond. And I thought I should knock again. So I knocked a little louder and waited. And then finally, I, I after I waited it a couple minutes, I thought, I'm off the hook. And I turned to walk back to my car when the door swung open and Stephen uh, asked me who I was and what I wanted. And I went back and I talked to Stephen. He invited me in. I said, uh, Stephen, I'm not going to pull any punches with you. Uh, your mom asked if I would come and talk with you. Uh, I understand you've been going through a difficult time, and I just wondered if I could share uh, with you a few minutes of the hope that I have found in life. I sat down across from Stephen and shared this Romans road, that we're all in the same boat, that we've all sinned, that we need a Savior, and God extended a free gift to us. After I shared my story uh, with Stephen and shared these verses, I, I uh, asked Stephen, Stephen, is this something you want? Do you, do you want to receive Jesus as your own Savior? And Stephen said, I do. And I uh, led Stephen through uh, a simple prayer, a simple prayer. God, would you forgive me of my sins? Father, I thank you for sending Jesus Christ who died for me. 
and rose again that I might have new life. And I, I pray that you would come into my life and guide me. At the end of uh, that time, Stephen, he, his countenance was different. He had changed. In a couple minutes, he had gone from uh, lost and wandering to found and excited. And a couple weeks after that, uh, he was called to military service. And he came to me and he said, Lenny, I'd like to be baptized. It was the middle of winter. There was no baptismal tanks in the area that were available to us. But Stephen wanted to be baptized. And the only place I could think of was a bathtub. And we baptized Stephen in a bathtub surrounded by witnesses. And Stephen was excited about his faith. It's important for us to have a plan and then to share it. We'll be coming back next week with not only have a plan, but share your story. Thank you, Pastor Lenny, for this week's teaching. If you have any more questions about this video, about what you've just heard, if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us through any of our social media connections, or you can even email info at sobblechurch.ca, and we'll make sure that your email gets directed to the right person. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next week for a continuation of Steps of Faith.